ouch, 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 ouch. Morning and welcome to a nice, calm, peaceful, painful morning. Yesterday, I had, oh, just trying to dig my tripod in. Yesterday, I had a bit of a, a tight calf muscle. Just started walking up, I'm at Tarn House again. I did promise you I was coming back to Tarn House. And I'm at the top of this bank that I spoke of in the last video or the video before. And uh, I'm at the top of the bank looking right over the magnificent views. Pretty much 360, apart from those few trees, all the way around. Stunning. I've just been talking to a guy I wasn't expecting to see on the hill. And uh, he was saying that uh, Nigel Dampson has been up here and shot these trees. I think it's these two. So I'm going to have a look myself anyway, because I quite like the silhouette going into into that lot it's quite pretty it's quite nice it's got that atmospheric cloud and you've got a little bit of color in the early morning the sun's not risen yet it's another half an hour to go so and it's set the camera up over there but yeah painful me uh, calf muscle twinged just as I started coming up the hill just you felt I just go twink and it feels a bit uncomfortable so it could have called the rest of my day off I think I might have to um, because I'm supposed to be going up Loughrig to have a look at the wall and the style just so I know where it is um, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to make it so we'll see if my leg calms down see if I can stretch it a little bit but yeah let's get the camera set up let's start straight in and let's get a couple of photographs before the light comes up and then I'm expecting to get the light just grazing the horizon uh, just see what that does hopefully catch some clouds but it's not looking promising because it's quite deep in the background and uh, then I'm going to make my way back down to the stone where I was in the last video and get the shot across there um, Unless I change my mind and stay up here if my legs too hurting. So uh, we'll see. Let's get the camera out and get straight into it. So I've got the big lens out, pulled out the big guns um, because I think the, the views far off in the distance are outweighing the ones that are close up at the moment. I took a couple of shots of these trees with the, the scenery in the background, but I'm not quite sure whether whether it works or not. Um, I haven't really put a lot of attention in my legs. My legs aching a bit, so my, my thoughts aren't quite right. So I thought I'd put the big lens on. We've got the, the mountain over there and I've got an app. I've got an app that tells me what that mountain is. And uh, if you haven't got this app, it's called Peak Finder and it's brilliant, absolutely brilliant. So if I open this app, point it in that general direction and then once it uh, calculates itself, I can put an overlay picture on. Where are we? Let's go back. I've lost my map. I've lost my map. Let's do a bit of a twizzle like you have to do. Come back. Let's have a look. Where's my map gone? If I hit something, there it comes, there it comes, there it comes, right. So, what we do is then, we put an overlay on, and we just line up the peaks with what we've got in front of us, and it should be somewhere around there, I think. I can't quite see the big one, because obviously it's behind the cloud. Somewhere around there, and I'm going to do a screenshot on it, so I can see what I'm doing. Right, so that one is called Red, Red Steers, the big one, Red Steers and uh, it just shows all the outlines it's really good uh, peak finder it's called really really good app um, so yeah that's red steers and it's just disappearing every so often i'm gonna put a little bit of video back on because i just videoed it just now and i'll do a little, a little bit of video just to show you the difference between the one that was and the one that is now it's just the clouds are just rolling over the top so i quite like that more than i do what's the big the big vista at the moment i shot that direction as well because the light's over there that's where the sun's coming up so I've taken one of that, but I've only got 140 mil, which is what, 200-ish on a on a full frame. I uh, know oh on a crop sensor. Uh, so yeah, and it's just red steers, whatever it is, it's just starting to peak out again behind the behind the, the clouds, and it's really quite cool. So uh, I'm just going to stop the video again there. I'm going to flick it back over to camera, and I'm at f11, and I'm going to focus on the trees. Just got a little bank of trees in the foreground, which gives it a bit of a, a dimension and take another shot of that. I just like that. And there's a little bit of a, a yellowy, tingy glow behind it. Um, and then you've got some more peaks just over that side. Um, three little peaks there is with some little wispy clouds in the middle. So that's what I'm shooting at the moment. Um, and there's even some behind you, which is quite nice. You've got those side pikes or the pikes, whatever they are. I'm not, I'm not brilliant with names, but I will try and learn a few as I go along. Um, so yeah, just mooching around all on this little area. I'm not walking too far because I say every time I step forward, me, me my calf tightens up, I've got to do some stretching, I think, to get that working. Um, I'm just going to have my croissant that I brought up and my coffee and just enjoy the morning again, I think. Definitely. But that's 
awesome. Bit chilly, got my hood up. Uh, I'm shooting the other direction at the moment because I've got this little brow of trees. It's a little place that I'm gonna go back to another day. Definitely another day, it won't be this week. Um, but the, the light's just coming up behind me and it's hitting the tops of the clouds. It's, it's obviously, sorry, it's, you probably couldn't hear me then, could you? It's obviously high enough to uh, break the cloud line and it's catching the clouds in certain areas. And there's a little wispy pink cloud just above the pointy, pointy hill over there. Um, so I'm taking a picture of that at the moment and the clouds it's moved across a little bit but it, before it was just sitting on the top and it was really quite cool um, as you've seen on the little bit of a time lapse I did on that the, the way the, the, the clouds are rolling over the top is really quite quite amazing but yeah the lights not actually come through I think I find it's already up now what, what, what are we on for time let's have a look yeah the lights just five minutes it's just come above the horizon so the horizon's obviously not where I am because I've got hills and things all around me, but all I'm doing now is I'm scanning all the way around. I'm scanning over there, there's some light behind you, but nothing's hitting anything. Nothing's hitting anything yet at the moment around. So I'm just scanning to see as soon as it hits one of the peaks, bring the big lens around and fire off. I was gonna go down to the rock. I'm still not made up my mind yet. I might just get a final shot down there before I go this morning. Um, but I'm using the long lens and I'm just shooting. If I want a big escape, I'll shoot a panoramic. I've shot a panoramic before the light came up and I'll probably do another one in a minute once we get a little bit of light on the top of the hills. F11, all these are gonna be shot at F11. There's plenty of depth in this lens. I'm just scanning around and watching. As soon as something happens, I'll be back on with you. So things are starting to happen now. Um, the light over that side, you can just see it on the hillside just there. And it's just hitting a peak behind me now, uh, in front of me, and it looks really nice. The clouds have just got a bit of a pink tinge to them and it's lighting up all the mist in the valley as well. So I think it's almost time to do a, a time-lapse, uh, not a time-lapse, a panoramic to try and get the, the top of the peaks uh, before the light drops too low and lights it all up. So I've taken a couple of shots. I'm now going to flip it round onto a vertical, like so. I'm going to get my camera leveled off, or my head leveled off, like so. So it's nice and level. I'm going to go slightly wider, get the camera level, check my pano from left. Oh, it's just hitting the top of that one as well. Let's go even wider still. From left to right, it's looking okay. I'm going to flick it into manual to make sure that the the light doesn't change on it. And I'm just gonna go all the way from one to the other. I'm gonna start off with a single shot, slightly wider. Start off with a single shot with my hand. And I'll put it back onto bracketing and act a bit quick because the light doesn't wait for anybody. So there's one, move it across a little bit. About a third of the image. There's two. Let's go again. There's three, and you can just you'll see the image. It's just got a little bit of light caressing the top of the hills. This is four. 
going through to five that's the shot that one straight down there oh and it's just catching the top of the pikes six is it hope you're counting cross to seven and we'll go one more cross to eight fantastic and I'm not going to stop there I'm going to go back and do another one because the lights a little bit lower so I'm just going to go back on the single shot hit the shutter put my hand in the frame lovely now I'm going to go back onto bracketing and I go back round this way and I'm going to go slightly wider to make sure that everything's in there slightly wider I'm going to grab the tree on the edge and we're going to go again number one now the lights come down a little bit lower and it's just lighting little peaks number two fantastic beautiful conditions and I'm watching the clouds that way because the light's starting to hit light's starting to hit them clouds over there oh, and there's a light beam coming through there behind but I can't do both things can I God, there's a piercing light beam hitting the top of the trees. Let's see if I can get this panel and spin round quickly and get it. Wow, that's brilliant. One camera, you see. Shoot, I've got two cameras, but I didn't bring the other one. The other one's in the van. Look at that. Slightly wider panel. Really, really nice. Then I'm going to flip it round and uh, go for some intimate shots. Zoom right in. Brilliant, perfect. Right, so I'm on the move. I am gonna go down and get that rock because that's what I came for. I've got some couple of fantastic panos, I think, of the light just caressing the tops of the hills and kissing the mountain peaks. So I'm gonna just grab the lens. I'll put the other lens back on now to 16 to 80. And I'm just gonna go straight down and catch the vista with Tarn Howes in the bottom. Wish me luck. made a bit of a pit stop I've had to stop here and shoot the time from here because the lights changing and getting brighter and brighter really quick and this is the guy I was talking to earlier on <laughs> he told me to go up the, the easy route uh, so yeah I've moved across I just set up the camera over that side but there's a tree down here on the bottom left hand corner that's just obscuring this it's not an island but it's a bit that juts out into the tarn and I just wanted to sort of separate it so that the pine trees sticking up are all separated on their own they weren't blending into that little tree uh, it just makes it look a little bit of a nicer image um, very simple, pointing straight in that direction, tilted it down a little bit so I can get all the tarn in and just taking in the vista in the background. F11, done. No, not, no filters, uh, no anything on, just shooting straight into it. Can't get it much simpler than that. It's all about getting up early to get here, that's more of it. And interrupting other people. <laughs> so I'll take one more here and then I'm going down to that rock because that's what I promised you, didn't I, that rock. So I've got to get down there.
So I put the wide angle lens on and uh, I'm just trying to set up a, another image. And what I wanted to do is take this picture of this boulder for you. And I've got a nice sky at the moment. It's looking pretty good. And I've put the wide angle lens and I've gone all the way out to, oh, 10 mil. <laughs> F11, I'm gonna focus on the boulder because the boulders, it's, it's been added. It's not uh, naturally here. It's actually been added to the frame. Well, added, added to the frame, added to the hillside. There's a bit of concrete underneath it. So I'm, I'm gonna try and blend the concrete out if I can and make it look like it's natural, um, even though we all know it's not. And we've got the big vista in the background. We've got a, we've got a vapor trail, which is not ideal. I might try and be able to get rid of it, but we've got some lovely clouds coming in from the top left-hand corner. We've got this rocks leading up from the right bottom left-hand corner. The boulders on the um, right-hand thirds, sitting at the bottom and then we got the distant peaks if you look into the images the distant peaks the sun's just catching the top of the trees i'm going to take this while i'm talking the sun's catching the top of the trees i'm using one exposure because it's all in the histogram and it gives me chance to just change the focal point from foreground to background to make sure we get all this sharp because i think it needs to be sharp and i've got one major issue with this shot you're in it right in this corner i can just see the lens right in the corner so i'm just going to do the same thing again and take another shot with you slightly over to the left hand side. I've had to move you as you see. Um, I'm going to do a what three words. I'm going to focus on the rock again. I'm going to do a what three words for you so you know exactly where this boulder is and it's going to make it very popular, I know. Um, but this is a beautiful, beautiful scene. Really, really nice. Really, 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 really nice. Dead calm. Reflections in the lake. Dead still. Chilly. Very chilly. But well worth the shot. Really nice. I've, I've laid the horizon line, the mountains, the hillsides, the tree line. I've laid that on the thirds as well. It just seems to balance the image nicely. And I know we keep going on about rules and stuff like that. Well, they are rules and rules are there to be broken. If you want to break them, break them. It's no big deal, but I think if you're learning, if you're getting into photography, if you can work on them rules of thirds, I think you can't go far wrong to, for building blocks. Right, I'm now gonna hang around for a bit longer and see if this light comes down even lower. <clears throat> well, it will do. It's clear behind. I'm gonna let the, let the light arise catch all the trees light everything up in front of me and get one shot of everything illuminated hopefully the rock as well and that's me done for the morning so as soon as i've taken that i'll show you the image come back and say goodbye and uh yeah just enjoying it again get me coffee out and finish me coffee off Just in case you're watching and you did shout your name out to me he's moved now he's down here his little blue coat down there steve hi steve thanks for saying hello this morning uh, i know you don't follow me you follow the big guys nigel Dampson and uh, thomas eaton and all that but you're gonna have to check me out now aren't you you spoke to me at the end of the day so i'll hold you to it the sun is coming up behind me look at that how beautiful is that the sun is coming up behind me uh, this is the boulder as you said before and i'm just waiting now for the the light to caress all of this. I'm going to get one more shot. I've moved the camera up slightly higher. Uh, I'll show you the, the first image. I'm going to show you the second image in a moment. Uh, I've just moved the camera up slightly higher and what that's done is it's brought in the bottom of the tarn just down there. But by being low, it was just obscuring that gap. So I brought the camera up a little bit higher. As you can see behind me, it's uh, quite a way up. So um, I've got to look up at the lens, which is great to have in that tiltable screen. Uh, it really does make a lot of difference. So. Um, yeah, thoroughly enjoying it. So I'm going to show you this image, the last image. I'm going to say thank you for watching. Most of the shots, and pretty much all the shots this morning were shot at f11 because that's a really good depth of field. I have bracketed because this boulder is really close. The boulder is only sort of, I suppose, a metre and a half, sort of five foot, something like that, six foot away from me um, or from the camera. So I have focus stacked it just in case. But again, I don't mind. I've said this before. I don't mind the, the background falling off slightly. I've shot some massive panoramics of this lot 
all across there going right over to the pikes um, the light's still across them now but it's getting harsher and harsher it's brighter and brighter light um, but yeah it's really really been a nice morning and i've gone in shade haven't i i know i have um, so yeah thank you for watching please like and subscribe hit the notification bell it really means a lot to me um, it'll it'll give you the notifications of when I put my videos out and please please leave me a comment as small as the comment is even if it's just a smiley face or a grumpy face uh, even if you didn't like this video comment and say why you didn't like it I can learn from that but I can't learn if you don't comment so please do comment and uh, yeah till next time I don't know where I'm gonna be I don't know if it's gonna be the Lake District or anywhere else um lockdown is just boris has phoned, denise has just phoned me mrs c and she said that boris said any high risk can't go into wales so it's leaving it a bit difficult for me i think but i just need to check up all the restrictions um, but i'm heading back i'm going to get a snap of that i've just noticed all the long lens before i go and i'm going to show you the last few images i take from here and i'll see you next time ciao for now bye bye